On that day a century ago, voices of resistance against the Japanese annexation of Korea erupted nationwide. The call for independence sparked in Seoul on March 1st, 1919, grew into a big wave in Daegu on March 8th. The independence movement of the day, fueled by national righteousness, still lives through the 100 years of modern Daegu history. The song Dongmu Sengak, which translates into English as thinking about a friend, has long been the most popular song for teenagers. Chongna, which appears in the song's lyric, means blue ivy. 100 years ago, Chongna Hill was covered with blue ivy. Modern historic monuments scattered around Chongna Hill are closely related to Korea's independence movement of March 1919 in Daegu. Kemyong University Dongsan Medical Center on Chongna Hill, which was once called Dongsan Hospital, stands as a missionary house that takes us back to 100 years ago. Missionaries who came to Daegu in the late 19th century built a hospital, private homes, church, and schools near the hill. The house of missionary Chamnes, which was built around 1910, offers a glimpse of the housing style of American residents in Daegu at the time. The house of American Christian missionary Switzer, which stands next to the Chamnes residence, was also built in the 1910s. The house's roof is quite interesting. The two-story Western-style brick home has a roof decorated with Korean rafters and roof tiles. Meanwhile, the House of Missionary Blair, built with red bricks over the concrete foundation, which was then a state-of-the-art construction method, is extra special. There's an exhibition hall recording the history of Daegu's March independence movement installed on the second floor of the house. The American Missionary House takes visitors back to the days of 100 years ago. Records of the Daegu independence movement and Korean flags held in the hands of the people during that time can be found here. 돌아보니 3일 운동 당시의 분위기를 보여주는 자료가 많이 전시되어 있습니다. 이 일대가 독립 운동의 중심지라는 사실을 확인할 수 있네요. The preservation of the 100-year-old missionary house led to the establishment of a museum that retains the history of the Daegu independence movement. Kesong Academy sits beneath Chongna Hill. Henderson Hall, the main building of the school built by missionary Blair's funding, is a Gothic-style establishment with two captivatingly designed towers. McPherson Hall, decorated with Korean roof tiles, was built to serve as a science and music building. This is where Korea's modern music pioneers like Park Tae-jun and Hyun Jae-myung studied. Adams Hall is a two-story building topped with a Korean-style roof. Missionary Adams, the founder and the first headmaster of Kesong Academy, designed the building himself. It was constructed by Chinese bricklayers and Japanese carpenters. Adams Hall is particularly special among the facilities at Kaesong Academy because of its basement floor. This is where teachers and students printed the Korean Declaration of Independence with a mimeograph. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
다시 등사해 놓고 네. 오늘 떠서. 네. An ordinary day in March of 1919. What did the students feel as they gathered in this tiny secret space? It was right after the March 1st movement happened in Seoul, so the surveillance activities of Japanese police were very thorough. How did those students manage to take the Declaration of Independence all the way to the market? On the day the independence uprising broke out, carts full of copies of the Declaration of Independence and Korean flags rolled down the 90 steps and headed to the market. At the time, there were no steps. It was a steep mountain trail. At 3 p.m. on March 8th, 1919, independence activists and students from Kaesung Academy and other schools nearby assembled at a big marketplace in downtown Daegu, which has now become Somun Market. The people of Daegu, with a copy of the Independence Declaration and a Korean flag in their hands, started chanting Dehan Dongrib Manse, and the chants eventually reached all corners of North Gyeongsang Province. The ripple effect of the nationwide independence movement forced Japan to back away from practicing oppressive rule and turned to implement a culture regulating policy. In the meantime, a significant building was put up in Daegu at the time. Joyang Center, which refers to a place where the morning sun shines, is regarded as the birthplace of modern education that galvanized nationalistic ideology among local teenagers and people to promote the Enlightenment movement. Most of the buildings built on Chongna Hill in Daegu city center during the Japanese colonial period were constructed by foreigners. However, only Joyang Center was designed and built by Korean people on their own. Joyang Joyang Center, established by independence activists in Daegu, became the center of the anti-Japanese movement and the national enlightenment in this region. After enduring a challenging time of historical turbulence, it moved from Dalsong Park to Mangu Park and underwent a restoration process. To the east of Joyang Center, there's a monument made with granite, honoring countless independence activists from Daegu and North Gyeongsang province. The monument is 45 meters tall to remember the year 1945 when Korea earned its independence. Korea did not gain its independence for free. It was possible thanks to the efforts and sacrifices of the freedom fighters.